there, Green Spumoni here. I know I just did a video yesterday, um, but I also said that I would show you my textbooks and stuff. And when I got to thinking about it, I was like, semester start, second semester starts Tuesday. And what if I don't have time? Because I saw how bad I got about um, posting videos and stuff. So I thought I'll go ahead and post a video with my textbooks and some of the things that I discovered during my first semester that did work for me and I think at least one technique that I tried that did not work for me. Now of course your mileage may vary as I always stress each program is different, um, each school is different, each student is different and you have to do what works for you and not worry about what works for me. But I figured I'd show it to you anyway. So I'm going to start with my textbooks and the package that I had to buy this semester was much less expensive, Ooh, that looks terrible, much less expensive than what I had to buy last semester and fewer books, but it's a monster. This is the Med Surge book we're using. There's the spine. It's, um, I think it was 1,772 numbered pages, but then on top of that, we have um, the index and stuff like that. So it's, it's a lot of pages, but I wanted to show you. I've already tabbed my first semester in my um, Med Surge book, and I just wanted to show you that real quick and show you how I tab it, because the way I tab it, I always know, as long as I have my book, I always know my, what my reading assignment is for any given week. And what I do is I get these um, plastic tabs. I get them at Walmart, I guess, or any office supply store. But if you look over here, this tab right here means that it's chapter 35, which is the big number in the middle. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. Um, the number in this corner, if you can see it, and the book is huge and I can't get it up there. This number means that it's reading assignment for our second week. And then there's a number in this corner, I think it's a number one. And that means that it is for our first exam. Yeah. Whereas you go back here to chapter 68, and you will see that it's chapter 68 um, for week six. Exam three. So I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. So that's my Med Surge book. And along with that book came the Med Surge Clinical Decision Making Study Guide. There you go. This one is a soft cover. And just flipping through it. It's case studies and it looks like NCLEX style questions. So I have a feeling I'm going to be using this book a lot. The last book that we were required to pick up is Virtual Clinical Excursions. I have not even taken this book out of the plastic yet. There you go. It's a much thinner workbook of some kind. Now I mentioned that, you know, the way I tab my Med Surge book or any of my textbooks lets me know without having my schedule or anything like that with me what my reading assignments are. But I do still use my planner. And this is the Uncalendar. I love this thing. And you can see I've got my schedule paper clipped in here. Nothing on this side yet, but this is the left side of the page. Just all sorts of boxes and stuff that I can use. The right side of the page I already have filled in for week one, and you can see that on Friday we will have Foley checkoffs. And on Thursday, peer ostomy checkoffs. But then I also have our reading assignments in the module number, the dates, and things like that. So I have that filled in for the semester. That's the Uncalendar from uncalendar.com. I'll go ahead and link it below if you're interested. I like that because I'm not 
Um, I can make it how I want to make it. And like for the weeks that I didn't have school, I didn't fill it in. But because I write the weeks in or the days in, I didn't even, I didn't have to skip pages. So it went straight from the end of last semester to this semester. Um, one thing I tried that did not work for me. I was trying to figure out a way to help me with the memorization for um, pharmacology. Now this may help somebody else, and if it does help you, you know, do, if doing this helps you, then woohoo. Um, like I said, it didn't help me. I had thought maybe doing the different colors would make a difference for me, but not so much. Um, I just, what I ended up doing was taking construction paper, different colored construction paper and different colored felt tip pens because I had re remembered that a lot of times when I was trying to remember something during a test, I would close my eyes and picture maybe a chart or a picture or something like that. So I thought maybe if I color coded things with um, pens and paper that it would help me. So like this is the one I did for interferon. You know, I tried to make it interesting and fun. Um, didn't work so much. This is monoclonal antibodies. Obviously, this was during the anti-neoplastics chapter. And, I mean, I even included little pictures and stuff. Didn't really work for me, though. But what did work for me, or at least helped, was Pharmacology Made Insanely Easy. This book has great pictures. And they did help quite a bit. For example, on the insulin page, when I had my medication administration check off, we had to know stuff about insulins, about um, onset and durations and things like that. After studying this page, I was actually able to go back in my memory and picture these little guys with their little hats and little shirts and things like that and come up with the answers I needed for onset and duration. So I liked that. Um, and some of these things just kind of stuck with me. I mean, I would have to go back and look at them again later. But like leukotrienes, they have leukotrain. You know, things like that. Very cute, very helpful if that's the kind of um, learner you are. If you need pictures and cute things and little sayings and stuff, this is awesome. You know, I never forgot Morbid Matilda for thyroid medications. And that's Pharmacology Made Insanely Easy by... This one is third edition. I think I went one edition back but it's by Loretta Manning and Sylvia Rayfield. So if you think that would help you, then... Now another thing that I did do for pharmacology that did help somewhat was um, flashcards, and I knew that they would help from before. I did flashcards online um, using Quizlet because I could bring that into my tablet and to my phone, so I could do those any everywhere. But one of the big things that helps me with flashcards anyway is actually the act of writing them. So these are my flashcards. Oops. And what I ended up doing to keep all my flashcards together was I went to Office Depot and bought these book rings and then just punched holes in the corner of my flashcards and kept them on the ring. So these are all the flashcards I made for pharmacology. There are medications, abbreviations, you know, um, information I needed to know about the different things. But that did help me. And I also used this with, I didn't bring any over here, but with my um, color-coded flashcards for my drug cards that I had to do for clinicals. Now, moving on to clinicals. First, my two little things. The watch. I've seen a lot of watches. Um, I saw a lot of different watches 
on my friends at clinicals there was one watch that I really wanted to get that was one of those pin on lapel watches I thought that would be really handy I've seen ones that you can clip to your stethoscope which I think is cool unfortunately when I had to have my watch for lab um, I didn't have the money to buy anything so I went on to I think I went on Amazon and just searched nurses watches and I found this one for cheap and I mean it's not the prettiest thing but I don't need pretty I need functional so I ended up with this one it's white it's kind of a flexible plastic what I do like about it is if you look it has has the second hand you need it also has um, regular time and 24 hour time I didn't end up needing the 24 hour time I do have friends who have the same watch that did use the 24 hour time on here but um, the second hand was nice although at times that second hand ticking around gets really loud it's a little holder thingy I can't remember where I got it um, all heart maybe but I have you know my pens I have a nail file in case my nails are too long my bandage scissors my hemostat and I would get there lock my car and then lock my keys in the trunk and just take my car key off and clip it to this so I wasn't carrying my bulky keys around and then it has this little pocket up front oh wow it's got money in it but that's where I would stick my lunch money so very handy and then I just locked all the stuff I didn't need in the trunk of my car um, also has my pen light but yeah handy inexpensive honestly I don't remember how much it was because I bought it back in September but now the last thing that I have here actually it's two things and I thought I brought you did. okay this my clinical instructor recommended um, it's the nurse assist clipboard by prestige medical and it's just a straight clipboard but it has a lot of nursing stuff on it and I did get it and I did use it one week in clinicals I mean it is kind of nice it's got it's got a calculator up here with a clock and calendar which is handy uh, regular clipboard it's got I'm trying to cover my name sorry it's got a thing over here to hold a pen which never really worked for me but okay um, all sorts of it's got like the cranial nerves and the functions pressure ulcer staging medical abbreviations bowel sounds assessments all sorts of things like that volume equivalents I didn't actually end up using these this semester but that does not oh the Glasgow comma scale doesn't mean I wouldn't use it next semester but what I found most helpful for me at clinicals was my storage clipboard the first day I brought it it was a little bulky and pain in the neck trying to find a place to put it but um, after that saving grace I got this one at Walmart got a calculator up here uh -uh. Um, it clips on the bottom it's a little big but and it opens up and it's got room for storage and I would keep this was the little notebook that I used for clinical what I loved about this was I had room in here to carry all sorts of stuff um, it's very roomy you can see the how much room you have I ended up I had a pocket care plan book because part of what we had to do at clinicals once we had our patient and did our physical assessment and you know got all the vitals and everything that we needed was we had to go sit down and do a nursing diagnosis for each patient and come up with three interventions so I carried a pocket size um, nursing diagnosis handbook care plan handbook and it actually fit in here so that was nice and I mean, here are my drug cards I mentioned that on the little ring color coded for the different those are the backs color coded for the different um, systems 
we had to do five for each patient. And I also kept all my paperwork inside my clipboard. I don't think I have... Oh, I do. I had done my own little nursing brain that I had based on um, SIM chart. This the information we had to do for SIM charting. So this is what I would carry around with me. And what I liked about having the storage clipboard was if for some reason, like if the wound nurse would call us into a room to see a, a wound, you know, maybe to learn about dressing it or just to see it, we got to go in and see um, a patient who had gangrene. And I had set my clipboard on, the, on her um, wound card outside the room. And I started to go inside and then I thought about it because I had my patient's, the, the brain I had done for my patient, which doesn't really have, it has a room number on it because I have to have that in SIM chart. But other than that, no, I don't have to have room number in SIM chart. Why did I have room number? So I would know where to go. Um, but I thought better of it because you don't want to leave patient information sitting around. So all I had to do was open up my clipboard and stick it inside, lock it up, nobody could see it. So I liked that, but um, yeah, so I would have my notebook in here, my pen usually ended up in here, my drug cards, um, any paperwork, and my, um, my care plan book, the little pocket one. Had a handle, easy to carry around. By the end of the semester, I ended up carrying most of the people in my clinical groups. Any paperwork that we got that day that we didn't need to use, but we had just received it in like pre-conference, ended up in here. <laughs> And then I carried it around for everybody. I have a, oh good grief, I can't think of what it's called now. Soundfly. That's what it is, Soundfly. Um, I got it off of Amazon because my car that I use for school is a bit older. So <clears throat> it's it has a CD player in it, but nothing that, you know, now you've got all these fancy schmancy cars that you can plug in your iPod or whatnot. And I wanted to be able to listen to I record all of my um, lectures and I wanted to listen to them while I was driving because I have like a 45 minute commute to school. So I got a Soundfly and what I can do is take the, um, well first of all I can plug my recorder straight into it and listen to it through the radio in my car but it also will take SD cards and um, flash drives. So what I usually do is take all my lectures off my recorder and put them onto an SD card and I have that plugged in to my car so I can listen to all my lectures and that's a Soundfly um, and that was like $45 I think but that has come in really handy I really like that thing other than that I can't think of anything else I've got plenty of post-it notes because what I started doing when I was doing my reading is if there was some sort of concept that I wanted to make sure I remembered I would write it on a post-it note and stick it next to it. I don't have my fundamentals book here to show you. Um, it's like across the room, but um, that's what worked for me and that way I could flip to the page and see it immediately. Oh, okay, that's the concept I wanted to remember from that. It was right there on a post-it note. Other things I highlighted. Um, so I got teased a little bit for how thick my book was getting because of all the post-it notes stuck to the pages. But once again, you do what works for you. Um, and that's what I've got for you today. So if you are just starting nursing school, yay for you. I'm excited for you and I want to hear all about it. Um, if you're going into your second, third, fourth, whatever semester, keep going, keep, keep trucking. And, um, hopefully I will be better this semester about updating and I'll let you know how things are going for me. Let me know how things are going for you in the comments and I will include links in the description below for MCalendar, um, for that pharmacology book, and um, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll respond. My computer's over there talking, it freaks me out when it does that. Um, I thank you again for subscribing, for watching, for commenting, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya!